In 1929, a young German surgical resident named Dr. Werner Forsmann changed medicine forever by performing a dangerous experiment on himself. At the time, the idea of inserting a catheter directly into the heart was considered impossible and fatal. But Forsman believed that if a catheter could safely reach the heart, doctors could deliver drugs measure pressures and visualize cardiac chambers directly. Without permission, Forsman prepared in secret at the Eberswalde Hospital near Berlin. Using only local anesthesia, he made an incision in his left antecubital region and inserted a ureteral catheter into his own antecubital vein. Under fluoroscopic guidance, he advanced the catheter approximately 65 centimeters all the way to his right atrium. Then, still with the catheter inside his heart, Forsman walked to the radiology department about 10 minutes away and took an X-ray of his own chest, proving that the catheter had indeed reached the heart safely. It was a medical revolution. His colleagues were horrified. Forsman was dismissed from his hospital post. But his bold experiment laid the foundation for modern cardiac catheterization and later coronary angiography. Decades later, in 1956, Werner Forsman shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine with André Cournot and Dickinson Richards for pioneering work in cardiac catheterization, a technique that now saves millions of lives every year. From one man's courage to place a catheter into his own vein and walk to the X-ray room, the era of interventional cardiology was born.